Okay, now to my first story for today. I'm sure you know King George from Yolo, right? Well, he tells us how he combines fame and education. Uh, I guess it's just my my ambition for upward mobility. Um, I guess um, I've always believed that you can't pour from an empty cup, so uh, you need to like. If you really want to make a change, you need to first invest in yourself. You need to first be accountable for yourself. So uh, I realized that uh, the, the things that I want to achieve would be better achieved if I had a master's in the fields that I'm very much interested in. So that's what informed my decision to pursue a master's. Um, uh, I don't know if you're setting me up, but yeah. <laughs> well, I also believe that you, if you follow fame and stardom, you will never achieve anything uh, because you are as good as your last show. I mean, um, you can't rely on what you've achieved alone. So you always want to, you know, further achieve more. And um, if the opportunity comes for you to leave your comfort zone to go and achieve what you have to achieve, you should take it. So I think it wasn't tough with this mindset that I had. It wasn't tough because um, I don't think fame and stardom is the last last stop for anybody who is popular. Um, we all want um, feasible gains rather than seasonal names. So uh, it wasn't tough. Um, I studied for a master's in uh, global media management. Um, currently, I do work at a performance marketing agency where I use my expertise to create visibility for local and global brands. Um, personal level, I do run Pave Ghana. Pave Ghana was um, an agency which I founded in 2014 um, to create an inroad for young people who seek to um, hone their talents in creative industries and related fields. Um, we currently have diversified into content creation as well with the Pave Network where we convert uh, creative ideas into socioeconomic solutions. We also have content like uh, 50 questions, um, the perception party, lend me your ears, which is more tailored uh, towards helping young people navigate the turbulence of adolescence. Um, we've got Pavers 10, which highlights brands that have made impact in the lives of people in a calendar year. Uh, to be honest with you, um, out here, the doors are automatic, so they open by themselves. <laughs> yeah, but on a more serious note, um, I would I would be doing a disservice to the people who um, invested their time and their energy into developing me if I attribute uh, the opportunities that I received out here only to stardom. Um, of course, um, if you if if people find out that you are this person, it adds another level of credibility or another layer of credibility to you. But I think what really made a difference is the opportunities that people gave me. People like um, Mr. Bright Lajepo, people like Mr. Ivan Kwashika, people like uh, Dr. Faustina Brew, Dr. Henry Riverson, Mr. Um, Kennedy Asarisechi, my big brother. You know, it, it comes down to those opportunities where they gave me to hone my skills, to sharpen my talents, the opportunities that they, they gave me to, you know, explore and expand my my horizon. So, yeah, that's what I, I can't say. I can't attribute it to stardom alone because it's just a byproduct of all these things that I have experienced. Uh, it hasn't been that different, um, mainly because I was in touch with my friends who were well, my colleagues who have become friends and we also had ample time to know that okay we are going to shoot so um it gave me time to prepare i hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed uh, making it for you regarding my acting career um beyond yolo i want to play um more challenging roles i guess one of my ultimate Ghanaian dream roles to play is Daddy Lumba. <laughs> I want to play Daddy Lumba in, in a biopic. So if you're watching this and you have plans, please put me on. Um, I'm keeping my hair and everything for Daddy Lumba. There have been Waha one where he had fair women all around him. <laughs> all right. So yeah, but seriously, I do want to play um, 
in more uh, uh, dramatic roles. I want to play in more challenging roles and um, yeah. Well, in my humble opinion, I think uh, <laughs> And to keep it short as well, Ghana's movie industry is that giant that went to sleep and now has to wake up to smell the coffee. I say this because in the past we were, you know, the talk of the region and now we seem to, you know, be going through a rebirth. Um, the opportunities are endless if we don't drop the ball because I feel um, the new crop of filmmakers have so much potential, the new crop of actors have so much potential as well um it's just uh i just feel like you know we, we should balance the pendulum you know in as much as a show the show um it's, it's still business so we should try and meet in the middle and make sure that we are doing show business instead of the the business as usual as we've come to know it so yeah there's so much potential for the industry um I hope and pray it gets better with time.